Would you like to hear some very powerful ancient wisdom that can impact your life? I'm Reverend Dr. Brent Hawks. I was a senior pastor and now I am the executive director of Rainbow Faith and Freedom. Lao Tzu was an ancient Chinese philosopher and writer and he said this, I have just three things to teach, simplicity, patience, and compassion. You know, it's pretty amazing when some philosopher or teacher says they only have three things to teach. And when they say that, you know, you know that this is really at the core of their work. Lao Tzu was an author of the Tao Te Ching, the founder of philosophical Taoism, and a deity in religious Taoism and traditional Chinese religions. So here are the three things again. Number one, simplicity. We have made our lives so complicated and so cluttered. Thousands of messages coming at us every day from social media, commercials on television, and we're responding by cluttering up our schedules and taking on too much and cluttering up our homes by buying too much and saving too many things. The minimalist movement is growing and is pushing back against all of this and stressing simplicity. For example, I've taken some time to organize some things in my life, like my photographs. I have hundreds and hundreds of them, and I've carried them around all over the place in nice little boxes that I never open. And so I've just decided that I'm going to digitize my pictures. And once I digitize them, then I'm going to give the photographs away. And this has been very, very freeing. It brings the pictures alive on digital frames and reduces the clutter. All of us have gotten so much stuff that if we give some things away, other people might really benefit from them, might really need them. But we can also stop the inflow of items into our lives by buying less. And the same thing can happen with our schedules, having more time to breathe and relax. The second of the teachings, patience. We need to have more patience with ourselves. You've probably seen the slogan, God isn't finished with me yet. And another aspect of patience is also that we're in such a hurry to have everything, to understand everything, to be everywhere. Having more patience means it doesn't all have to happen today. But equally important is to have patience with others. God isn't done with them yet either. People are going to make mistakes and not do things as fast as you'd like. Organizations are not going to respond as fast as you'd like them to. And technology has made us impatient. Some examples. In the old days, if we had a problem with an appliance, we would search out where to get help, we'd take the appliance to get it repaired, we'd wait, go pick it up, etc. Now we go online to find some help and we get impatient when we're, to when we're uh, on hold for 10 or 15 minutes even though it's much less time than we'd spend before. In the old days, when you wanted to communicate with somebody, you'd send a letter, you'd write it, you'd mail it, you'd wait for it to deliver it, you'd wait for them to respond. Now we get impatient if an email is not replied within 24 hours. So we're becoming more impatient. And thirdly, compassion. Lao Tzu says that by being compassionate towards ourselves, we reconcile all beings in the world. Compassion brings everything together. And it starts with being compassionate towards ourselves by being gentle and forgiving of ourselves. As we're being more compassionate towards ourselves, we can then be more compassionate towards others. Walking in someone else's shoes, trying to really listen to where they're coming from, forgiving their mistakes. Compassion doesn't fix everything, but it means really listening and it means celebrating gentleness and kindness and respect. And so thousands of years ago, this philosopher said that there were only two things he had to teach, simplicity, patience, and compassion, ancient wisdom that's relevant for us today. If you found this video helpful, pass it on to friends, I encourage you to subscribe, it really helps our channel. And if you click the little bell button beside the subscribe button, then you can get a notice whenever we post a video. Thank you.